Hi everyone, I'm Pranothi Hiermath. I'm here after the late-breaking trial of ischemia with Dr. Roxana Mehran. Dr. Mehran, we are here to ask you what your main impressions of the trial are, what, how it will impact your clinical practice, and also what you see for the future in terms of trial follow-up. Well, first of all, uh, it was thank you for having me, and I love Fitz on the go, so <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, and. Uh, Today was a historic day. I think we finally got to see the results of the ischemia trial. Long awaited, over 4,000 patients randomized with stable ischemic heart disease, uh, moderate ischemia, and um, uh, somewhat angina. Not a lot of angina, but somewhat, not refractory angina, but stable ischemic heart disease. Uh, and there we found no difference in the primary endpoint of cardiovascular death, MI, heart failure, unstable angina, and cardiac arrest, out of hospital cardiac arrest. And no difference in death and MI. There was an important divergence of the curves that I think is very, very important to note, especially given that it was myocardial infarction reduction, spontaneous myocardial infarction reduction over time. And so I really think the long-term follow-up is going to be crucially important. The quality of life was dead on. It was perfect. It was a complete resolution of angina for patients in the invasive uh, arm. So the invasive strategy does reduce angina improves quality of life, does not improve the hard endpoint of death and MI, but it might have an important benefit down the line as far as reducing spontaneous myocardial infarction and long-term follow-up is going to be absolutely needed when we see a diverging curve like that. Thank you very much, Dr. Mehran. For more videos like this, please go to youtube.com slash fits on the go.